Um, and uh, so, Howie, welcome. Good to have you here. And I also said that you're one of uh, Paul's favorite political commentators. So, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thanks. Paul, since you. Well, well I just question Howie. So, Howie, uh, you follow <laughs> this congressional races in great detail. Um, you've been particularly following the progressive races. So, one, how did the progressives do? And two, what do you make of the, the night? What happened? <laughs> well, the, the night isn't over. It's, uh, you know, votes are still being counted. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure what happened. I mean, I, I was very disappointed in, in a lot of races and surprised in some of the others. So I'm still trying to make heads or tail out of it. I, I was very disappointed that Randy Bryce lost in Wisconsin 1. I was very disappointed that, um, uh, uh, what's her name? <laughs> Uh, Jess King lost in uh, in uh, Pennsylvania 11, although that was, you know, kind of uh, more expected. But you know, the, the California races, uh, uh, none of them have been called yet, so we don't know what happened. Uh, what happened here? And you know, it's really not going to be till tomorrow at the earliest that that we'll be able to see. You know, someone uh, who's been working in 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 this area for many many years, uh, a, a labor guy in Illinois wrote to me, uh, sent me an email this, um, this afternoon or this evening, I should say, and said, well, what happened? Did, did, did the DCCC spend a lot more money on the conservatives than they did on the progressives? And I wrote back just a couple of words, just, yeah, 100 to 1. Uh, so, you know, if money is, I mean, basically what happened is there, was, there wasn't much of a wave. You know, it was a little, a little piddling wave. There was no, all that talk about a tsunami didn't exist. There were some places where, you know, in Pennsylvania, a, a bunch of, uh, you know, kind of moderate. When I say moderate, I don't mean conservative, but, you know, kind of moderate Democrats won. And, um, uh, and, and it was enough to, for the Democrats to take the House back, which is, which is something. Uh, but uh, All right. So, Howie, what do you see in terms talking of... Talking about in terms of saving the planet, I don't think that was uh, what, what, what's going to happen out of this. Howie, now that the Dems have the House, what, what do you think they should do with it, and what do you think they're likely to do with it? They're, they're, well, it's kind of both. They're likely to, um, to investigate uh, Trump uh, in, a, in a more serious way. And, I mean, in any way would be a more serious way, so they'll do that. But the, the Republicans appear to be having a much stronger position in the Senate now. And uh, Trump is, you know, running around yelling and hooting and hollering that he, it was a big victory for him tonight. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I imagine there's going to be a lot of deadlock. I, I, I know that the American public seems to like deadlock. Uh, before I joined the call, I was listening, and, you know, the, the kind of crucial stuff that you and your guests were just talking about in terms of saving the planet from global warming, that certainly this is not going to be a... Uh, a government that's going to, going to be able to even come close to discussing that or, or making heads or tail out of it. I mean, it's just going to. I mean, I mean, there's nothing that that's going to include Donald Trump that's going to be anything that's going to do anything for anybody except for himself. So it's it's a you know I, I don't know. I hope I'll wake up tomorrow morning and won't be as depressed because I saw there were quite a few uh, nice wins as well. The last time I looked in Iowa. Uh, uh, I, I thought that um, we might have a big surprise there and get rid of uh, uh, Steve King, but, no, but the last time I looked at even that didn't look like it was but, happening. Uh, the, the, the Republicans lost the governorship of Wisconsin. Is that right? Uh, yep. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's all if it's all Sorry. done, but it looked like they were losing it the last time I looked, and Tammy Baldwin won won her seat, so that was really good. You know, I was you know pretty. Tied up in the uh, in the race for for Wisconsin's first district, I was the one. I was one of the people who talked Randy Bryce into running. So I, I had a you know a big emotional con connection to that race. And once he lost that, I kind of lost <laughs> lost track of everything else that was happening on some level. Although I'm sitting here and trying to write a post for 5 a.m. tomorrow morning about what happened tonight. Yeah, there were there were Walker. It's hard to say what happened in Wisconsin right now. Walker, it, what we see right now is 49.1 percent, and, and Tony Evers is 49 percent. So that's still too close to call. It's a real dog fight. Uh, it, and it's, it's it, but again, I think that one of the things that we can pick up on, especially when we gather again tomorrow, is looking at how close these races have been. Mm -hmm. 
what this means for the future of, of, of the political struggle in America and what, whose America is it and where we're going. They've been very tight, and also the ballot questions. And we didn't cover tonight, which we will cover tomorrow, which is what happened down ballot in a lot of races, and the DA's out races around the country, mm -hmm. state legislative races. Um, you know, they're mirrored here what happened in Baltimore, Maryland, where young progressives have won in many places. And so it, it is, it's a very complex question mm -hmm. that I think that we have to kind of wrestle with here. I think there's going to be another thing in the next two years, which we'll see. Uh, and the, the foreign policy objective of the Trump administration is clearly to damage or create the, the conditions for regime change in Iran. Everything they've been doing is leading towards that. Um, I do not think they want to leave the White House without having accomplished something significant in that. And, and if they think they might be losing the White House, or maybe they think, and I wouldn't rule out some kind of uh, provocation that's blamed on the Iranians, um, which may th also make them think they could win the White House again with some kind of uh, what are the, you know, false flag kind of operation. Um, what that means in the House, supposedly the House is supposed to be the one that can authorize war and part of the problem with the Democratic Party is a section of the Democratic Party, which not in the House but in the Senate, Chuck Schumer represents and he'll be all gung-ho. When Trump dropped a bomb on, uh, a dr on Syria, sent the missile to Syria, Schumer said finally Trump's looking presidential. On the other hand, there's a lot of people in the House right now who will fight this thing. There is a resolution that Sanders and uh, Ro Khan put in uh, against the Yemen war. Um, this is, this, this, there'll be enough people in the House to, have, to wage a fight on this issue. Um, and certainly we're going to be covering that. I think so, all of a sudden it's going to be really worth covering what goes on in the House. And we're going to be covering more foreign policy with you tomorrow here on The Real News Network. And Howie Klein, thank you for joining us. Uh, good, to have, good, night. good to have you all here, and thank you all for being here in the studio. It's mm -hmm. been great to have you all join us as part of this thank conversation you. this evening. It's been a really good conversation. And I want to have it, remind everybody tomorrow, uh, starting at noon Eastern Standard Time, uh, we'll be going live again to look at what happened around this country with more analysis after we see uh, what happened in these races. We have a chance to kind of look at the numbers and see what the races are, where that takes politics in America in the future. It'll be starting at noon to 2 tomorrow here on the Real News Network. Uh, so be sure to take care, to tune in for that and watch that. And of course, all this will be on the Real News Network site uh, for all of you to uh, download and watch and listen to and think about where we're going in this country. And I want to thank all of our panelists and all of you for watching. See you all tomorrow. I'm Mark Steiner here for the Real News Network. Take care.